Here's a crank assembly out of a 500cc Royal Enfield Indian Bullet, um, what you might call the classic or cast iron version, whatever you prefer, but basically, you know, a continuation of the old British ones. And this crank was sent to me because he said he had play in the big end, which I've checked and certainly is. But another thing it's got, I like to check before I split the cranks. I'm assuming this is as it came out of his engine. And uh, I like to check and see if there's any run out on the main shafts or the flywheels. I've mentioned in the past on various forums and things about finding a crank once that had, um, rather than a few thou or an excessive amount of thousands of an inch run out on the main shafts, actually having a millimetre and three quarters run out on the main shafts which was terrible. You couldn't imagine an engine running like that. Well, here's one that even beats that. Look at this. Look at those flywheels walking up and down against each other. Look at that drive side main shaft. And there's a fair chance that it has been running like that because if we look at the main shaft here, as I turn it, look at the wear marks on it. And that is the space in between the main bearings where the spacer lives. So it's had a real pasting. It just shows how bad things can be on these engines and yet they'll still run. But there must have been a fair amount of noise and vibration on this one and here's the play in the big end by the way. Must have been like sitting on a jackhammer. So I'll get the crank split, get what's left of the big end out and uh, repair it, put it back together and true it and there won't be anywhere near as much run out as that. Ideally there'll only be a couple of thou with that. So that's where we are with that one.